open house in Davis County at a place you might not think would attract hundreds of people. But that was the case today at the North Davis Sewer Treatment Facility. There was even food and drinks. Keith McCord dropped by. This is a story about human waste and what this sewer treatment plant is doing with all of that waste. And it's a good thing and it's very high tech. They threw a party at this wastewater treatment facility just outside of Syracuse today. Why? Well, the North Davis Sewer District just completed a four-year, $58 million upgrade, which means they can treat more of um, what we flush. This uh, piping brings the flow from the uh, older facilities into the new facility. This water reclamation plant processes waste from seven different cities in Davis County, serving about 215,000 customers. But because of a projected 25% population increase in the next decade in this area, the upgrade was necessary. This project was designed to provide capacity through the year 2035. When you see signs on big pipes that read raw sludge and foul air, you definitely know you're in a sewage treatment plant. So you can see right here how thick it is compared to right back there. District manager Kevin Cowan, as he proudly showed off a container of the raw sludge, told us that the new equipment is much more efficient and can process 20 million gallons of sewage every day. And the upgrades have produced an additional benefit. A byproduct of waste is methane gas. We've harnessed that energy source to fuel engines and those engines turn electrical generators and we generate about 50% of the electricity that we use on this entire uh, treatment facility site. And that's cutting the treatment plant's electrical bill by twenty to $30,000 every month. The North Davis Sewer District has been in operation since 1946 and currently has about 100 miles of collection lines that bring the raw sewage to be treated. And with all the new upgrades, the district says more than 95% of the pollutants are removed before the water is released into the Great Salt Lake. In Syracuse, Keith McCord, KSL 5 News.